Hey, it's you. I've been expecting you guys. Why don't you come on in and let me show you my home away from home. Make sure you wipe your feet though. All right, before I begin, I want to give a shout out to my boy Greg who actually requested this video, my first request, so I appreciate that. He also asked a pretty interesting question that honestly, a lot of you are probably wondering the same thing. Here's the question right over here. And I will get to that answer at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Back to the review. And as you can see, it's a little dark in here. That's only because I have my blackout curtains open. So let me close them up for you guys. Now that's better. All right, so right now we're in the business end, or what I like to call the office. I did tell my mom that I'll have an office with the view one day. As you can see, I like to keep things pretty minimum. All right, I don't like to clutter things so much. A couple of charging cords here. Uh, but right here is the heart and soul of the business. This is my Zonar and ELD. This is where I uh, maintain uh, and monitor my logs and all my trip information all built into uh, this, uh, this tablet right here. I like to look at this photo here of us at a wedding a few months ago, looking all silly. Um, it, it reminds me that we're pretty much next. Um, our wedding is set for March 2023 and you know what I look at it every day and it gets me excited I got my Bluetooth radio I got my boys my best men not many people could say that but I got three best men a couple of dials and buttons that I like to play with I do kind of like this setup here because it's all tilted towards the driver and that's me Thanks, Captain Obvious. Uh, moving on, um, right came my loose change, got a couple cup holders, my sunglasses so it's easy access. And we got a couple of storage units on top here. All right, nothing too crazy or special. Um, I do like this here, it's a truck of prayer that my fiance got me. I got my ID, which I won't show you in my picture. Another hazmat book. And I do have my endorsement in hazmat. Here is where I normally would keep my CB, but I don't have one. It's like we got us a convoy. Instead, I have items that it's easy to get to, such as vitamins. I have some, co uh, I have some cough drops. I do have some eye drops as well. Um, I carry some cold medicine just in case I get a cold. Things like that. There's more storage above the passenger seat, but I don't really keep anything in there, so it's empty. Um, my brother got me this cross, so I keep it. And again, very simple. I got my navigation mount and my phone mount, along with my headset charger. And I keep my pens right here, really easy access. There's storage at top here. Yep. Storage above the driver's seat here uh, so I keep my cleaning products uh, and things for the truck um, I like things that smells pretty good my favorite color is purple so a lot of things that are purple so there we go here I have empty plastic bags that I use for garbage all right I got my whiteboard behind me um, I do actually use it uh, for reminders or appointments or anything like that or anything that comes to mind i like to jot it down somewhere and i can constantly see it every time i hop onto the driver's seat and in this case we got a truck review i swear about this this is my purple car seat again purple the theme all right let's move on to the rest of the tour here shall we all right so now uh, we went from the office area now we're into my quarters right all right, this is where I spend most of my time when I'm not working, All right? So, again, pretty simple, not much clutter. I got my um, TV mount right over there, obviously with no TV. This is where I do most of my cooking. Got some more storage. Uh, don't really have much in here. After a long, hard day at work, I like to just sit back and just sip on some bubbly. The bubbly. Purple again, purple. What's the theme? Right, here's my dumbbell I use every morning. I do a couple of reps and who am I kidding? 
Uh, I just leave it in front of the refrigerator door for preventing it from opening. Conventional oven, it's a little dirty right now. I just used it last night. Um, but it also dubs as an air fryer. Right here uh, is where I keep my Tupperwares and where I do all my cooking, my electric pan. I got my electric kettle. Um, if I want to make hot coffee, soup, or what have you. And here is really where I keep all my dry goods, uh, such as seasoning. And here is really where I eat my dinner, or I use as another hard surface for paperwork, uh, if necessary. But most of the time, I eat my dinner right here. Lodge with my ladies, uh, Harley, my uh, my two-year-old dog, and my beautiful fiance. Um, I look at this every morning, guys, and it gives me my reason to why I am out on the road and doing what I do. So inside my closet, very necessary, got my shower shoes, because you never know what the hell is growing in those showers. Uh, wipes, because you never know. Uh, I do live out of a suitcase, uh, and basically my toiletry bag. All right, the cabinet above my closet here is basically where I keep my utensils, my paper plates, uh, aluminum foil, garbage bags, a couple of things in here. A little of a mess in there too. I got a couple of hooks here to hang up my hats. I got my towel. We got some blacked out curtains. here we got some speakers and if I ever have guests this is where you'd be sleeping it's where the magic happens because when I get a good night's sleep it is magical what were you thinking I'm engaged Anyway, back to the review. That'd be for the heater under the bed. Um, obviously, climate control and light switches. The little cubby here where I put my phone. There's some under bed storage for so keeping my vacuum. Again, not much to see. And I'm gonna try to keep some of my tools. All right, guys. I know you've been waiting a long time for this, but it's time for me to answer that age-old question: Where do I use the bathroom? Well, this might actually come as a surprise to some of you, but I actually use the toilet. I mean, I can only speak for myself, but either I go to a rest stop and use the toilet, or more times than not, I'm here at my distribution center, which they actually have running water. I can actually take a shower. I could wash my hands, I could brush my teeth. But, I will say, and I'm not very proud of this, there has been times where desperate times calls for desperate measures and I had to relieve myself on the side of the road. But this is trucking, guys. It is what it is. All right, guys, before I unveil what I'm about to show you, I'm gonna need you to like, share, and subscribe this video. Again, I'm just being transparent right now, and I'm doing it for you guys. So help me out, all right? And again, not my proudest moment. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? And don't worry, it's been sanitized, and I wipe it down after every use. It's the base, and there's your seat. Put a garbage bag inside of this, and you're good to go. So that's what I use. It's pretty cool though, because it, it serves another purpose. Take this lid off as a step stool or an actual seating stool. So that's pretty cool. So it's pretty vers versatile, um, but that's what I use, guys. Don't judge me. I've only used it again in case of emergencies. Trust me, <laughs> they've been emergencies.
But that's about it, guys. That's my truck tour. On that note, uh, I'm going to go take a nap. Uh, it's been a long day. So do me a favor. Lock the door behind you. See you next time.